I would like to talk to you Big about time. the memories you have yeah. at malls. Mm-hmm. I think malls, a few of them, a lot of times are people's first. So, like, might be your first job, might be your first crush, first yeah. date, yeah, first kiss, sure, might be like you know first CD, yeah, big Sam, time. Sam Goody, uh-huh. anybody, yeah, the mall. Wow, and I have a very strong, possibly controversial statement. Okay. But mark my words, put it down in the twerk at the archives. I think malls are malls are going to have a comeback. Malls are making a comeback. I'm not mad about that. So the wife and I went to the mall on Saturday. The mall. So we were walking around, and I told her, I said, Sarah Carter, I think malls are going to have a comeback. Uh, And she goes, what are you talking about? I said, look around you. There's no sign of struggle. Yep. Pre-COVID, there was a sign of struggle. Sure. Big time. It felt like malls are dying. Yeah. Yeah. and then COVID, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing that this has to do with people just wanting to be around people. But then there's the, the nostalgic factor. Big time. You know, I'm pretty good at seeing trends, but I started thinking about this. I said, well, I need to research it a little bit. I researched a little bit, mm-hmm. and I'm a little bit more on to something than even I thought. Oh. So young kids are very interested in going to the malls again. Okay. Because it's social. And yeah. You know, these kids grew up with Amazon, where True. Amazon was something that was introduced to us. Yeah. These kids grew up with it, and it's like, it's boring. Yeah. It's a it's like a task. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, I need, I need socks. Okay, go to Amazon and order your socks or your pencils or your whatever. Yeah. There's nothing exciting about that. Right. How's that entertaining? A wool sink. A, a uh, wool sink. Yeah. Yes. Who uh, needs that? Yeah, but now it's there though. <laughs> they re- they're starting to realize like, oh, going to the mall was not about shopping. Yeah, it was about the social side of things. Yeah, you know, big time. And you're just bored. Big time. Go to the mall. They're discovering what we already knew. That's right. And that's why I went to the mall. Yeah. Thanks, Darth Mall. 2021, the ocup- occupancy rate was 91.8 percent. Okay. Last year, 2022. The occupancy rate was ninety three point nine percent, so two oh. percent like raise in the amount of stores that are occupying a mall. Yeah, that's good news. Okay. The other thing was there were uh, nineteen hundred closures, which sounds terrible, but yeah, there were forty four hundred openings. Oh, so hmm. uh, explain to me like. I'm a five year old. <laughs> More stores are opening okay. than closing. Oh. By a long shot. Like I'm a three year old. Okay. No, I got it. I just uh, no, I got okay. it. Okay. I got it. Yeah. And it excites <clears throat> me because malls are nostalgic. And I would like to talk to you Big about top. the memories you have yeah. at malls. Mm-hmm. I think malls There's a few of them. A lot of times are people's first. So like might be your first job, might be your first crush, first yeah. date, yeah, first kiss. Sure. Might be like you know, first C D. Yeah. Big Sam, time. Sam Goody? Uh uh-huh. anybody? Yeah. F Y E. F Y E. Uh Turtles. Turtles, oh my god. <laughs> Got him with that one. What do you think? Your favorite memory is from a mall. Man, go to the mall at Christmas time. Oh, the best. That's the freaking best. Yeah. Mall of Georgia does it well. They decorate very, very nicely. Um, Yeah, that brings me a lot of nostalgia. 
Well, I wanted to say this too. I found I I I started reading this book. Um, uh, it's called "Meet Me by the Fountain: mm. An Inside History of the Mall." This is it here. I don't know if it'll focus in. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. The the reason it was kind of designed like a mall was designed the way it was, it's fascinating to me. They designed it because they wanted to take Main Street, like what you have in a city, yeah, and bring that to the suburbs. Uh, and when you think about a mall, it's like, oh my God, that is what it is. Yeah. Like when you're walking in a mall, you've got the things lined up. Yep. Two story. Yeah. But it's like a main street. Right. But it's main street for people in the suburbs. For sure. And so I think for me, what gives me the warmth is just literally walking. Yeah. And you don't know what you're going to run into. You right. don't know what store you want to go into. Or who you're going to run into. Who you're going to run into. What snack you might want to buy. Dippin' yep. Dots, shout out. <laughs> They've been there for forever. Ice cream of the future. Ice cream of the past. <laughs> uh so it's going to catch on. I think I think that was really cool. Like the fact that it's like designed to be Main Street of the suburbs. I still yeah. thought that was interesting. That but is pretty the cool. The things that take me back. My it makes dude, sense. Two things in particular. Number one, the arcade. Oh yeah, dude. Time crisis. <laughs> Man, I Rad used, Mobile. Yeah, <laughs> I used to love the freaking arcade. Dude, Street Fighter Two, bro. Street Fighter Two all day on that machine. Ah. Uh, and then, I, I have to just say this. Huh. It's hard to talk about a mall without talking about the movie theater. Oh, yeah. They were one in the same, dude. Yep. One Absolutely. One in the same. One of the best experiences, period, to me is the Mall of Georgia. Yeah. Like, that. you just go up that escalator, mm-hmm. you go up there and you get your ticket. Yeah. And then you buy your... Uh, and then you go up another escalator. Then you go up another escalator. Yeah, it's a true And you story. buy your forty dollars snacks, <laughs> and then you <laughs> yeah. choose between fifty different theaters. Uh huh. But there's something, pun intended, regal Ooh. about that whole experience huh. at the Regal Cinema. Yeah, it's funny that we're talking about nostalgia, malls, movie theaters, because last week Titanic. Is back in the theater. Wow. 25th anniversary. Yeah, I think, yeah, my father-in-law uh, messes me about this. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of them coming out. Mm-hmm. And it's in 4K or something like that. And uh, I remember seeing it for the first time in the theaters back in 97, yo. And I had a date, spoiler alert, <laughs> when the Titanic is sinking. <laughs> and like the, the captain's bridge is surrounded by glass. Yeah. And the water broke through the glass and it was just like this loud. She like jumped and like grabbed my leg and just dug her nails and I'm just like, ah. oh. <gasps> so do you like the movie? <laughs> ah, I love it. <laughs> it's the Twerk Ethics Show. It's the Twerk 